Hey guys, Mikey here, just filming the intro to this video at the end of the workout. As you can see, pretty sweaty, but I feel fantastic. I hope you have a great workout. It's a 45 minute sprint development workout, looking to test your active recovery state as well. You've got six blocks of two and a half minutes each with a 30 second finish in zone five. Starting to push you a little bit beyond the comfort zone here. Enjoy yourselves. If you're working with power, then I call those and you also got the numbers up on screen. If you don't have a power meter and don't work with zones, that's fine. You'll be working with RPE, rate of perceived exertion. It's a scale between one and 10. 10 being the maximum you can output, one being the easiest possible pace in the world. So if we were to call five, that would be medium intensity. You get the idea but the scale is within your control. So you push as hard as you feel, you think the number is, the number represents. We're gonna get started, enjoy the workout, enjoy yourselves, put a smile on your face, and keep on training. Let's get started just with a couple minutes in our zone one warming up. So I'm just gonna click start. Five minutes in zone one, really just focusing on warming up those legs, those muscles. This is a really This is a really important part of the workout because it just ensures that everything is ready to go. Want to be preventing any possibility of injury and having a good, long, progressive warm up, which we're going to do, stepping up the zones one by one. It's going to increase our chances, making sure we're nice and warm that our muscles, tendons, ligaments are all functioning as they should. So that we can engage our muscle groups and push as hard as we need to for the workout today. This workout is forming part of your daily ritual, then welcome back. If you're new to the channel, new to this video, then thank you for joining. You've got nothing to be afraid of, we're going to be pushing through this together. Medium intensity workout for you today, but just getting a little bit more out of you on the zone 5, 30 second efforts at the end of our more endurance based two and a half minute blocks. Halfway now on the zone one warm up. Just tuning in that position. If you do need to make any adjustments, now's the time. Relaxing that upper body, normalizing the breath.
holding that 85 to 90 RPM range, your leg speed. Another 20 seconds, zone 2 coming up, so increasing the intensity slightly, moving up a gear or two. Maintaining our leg speed, 3, 2, 1, up a little bit. Personally, always find the warm-up efforts a little tougher than the actual workout efforts. Just as everything is coming back to life, as my body goes, oh yeah, it's work time, right? Oh yeah, we've got to start turning the pedals now. Like a like a rude awakening for the body, for the mind as well. Just zone two for another minute. Thirty seconds. Then we move up to our zone three. One step up again. Same RPM. Same leg speed. Nice and consistent. Ten more seconds. Five more. Getting ready to push up. Here we go. Zone three. Looking to level out those feet. If you notice they approach the majority of your pedal stroke at an angle, you can actually improve your pedal efficiency and save energy by leveling out that foot. You might find it engages the glutes a little more, the back of the leg, the calf muscle, the lower leg. But it's nothing a good bit of practice won't fix. Just be mindful of that as we're pedaling through the warm up. Just over a minute left here in zone three. Getting warm now. Whoa, I can feel that. No fan for me, so that you can hear me, but if you've got one, turn it on. You're gonna need it. Thirty seconds. Keep those shoulders down, relax the upper body. Want to save that energy for the lower body. Zone four coming up. Ready now. Up on the gears, three, 
two, one. One minute, zone four. That's your FTP pace. If you're working to power today. Halfway. Right. Ten more seconds. <laughs> Five more. Zone one, recovery. Three, two, one. Always keep pedaling in that recovery, however you're feeling. It'll just help you circulate that blood flow where it needs to go. Otherwise it gets a little stuck and can't reach those key areas you've just been working so hard. Legs, for example. So however you're feeling, even if it's a snail's pace, just keep those legs turning, all right? Good stuff. 20 seconds. Then we start our first block. Two and a half minutes in zone two. Three, two, one. Take it up a couple. We're in zone two now. Find your rhythm here. Zone two is that pace that you should be able to hold pretty much forever. It's not too hard, but not so easy that it gets you nowhere. In the ultra racing that I do, the last one being a thousand kilometers over 72 hours, zone two is pretty much where it's at. That's where the magic happens. So just turning over nice and consistently, that's the key here for today's workout, consistency. Just get through this another minute and a half, just under. Still focusing on leveling out those feet, engaging those glutes a little more. One more minute. Every block, six blocks, finish off with 30 seconds of zone five. Getting ready for that in 30 seconds. It'll feel like a nice big jump up from here. So just make sure you're ready. Ten seconds. I'm gonna start adjusting gears at five seconds. There we go. Moving up now. Three, two, one. Zone five. Push it up. Halfway. Five more seconds, carry it through. Three seconds, two, you got one. 
bring it down, zone one, recover. Good stuff, smashing it out. One block gone, five more to hit. Next one's a little tougher. Instead of zone two, we switch it out to zone three. So it's two and a half minutes, zone three. 30 second finisher, zone five. Let's take some recovery time here. Ease up on those legs, nice deep breaths. If you got some water handy, chuck that down. Yeah. Getting ready for the next effort. 30 seconds on the clock. Oh. I'm looking forward to dinner. I'm doing this in the morning. I imagine that'll be breakfast for you. Unless you're having a backwards day. In which case, enjoy your dinner. Five more seconds. Zone three coming up in three. Two, one, let's adjust that resistance going up a couple gears. Maybe even a few. Find your pace. If you want to challenge yourself, aiming for the upper end of your zone three. Otherwise, somewhere bang in the middle is more than fine. Nice and consistent, just two minutes left here. Keeping a nice, good form on the bike. So, any arch in your lower back, you wanna get rid of that. You wanna see a nice, straight back. Engaging that core a little bit. Flattening out that lower back might find putting yourself down on the bars helps with that so that's where the notch in your elbows comes in and relax that neck and rather put that force that pressure through your legs doing good one more minute Let's see what you got. <sighs> Hopefully you're starting to feel it now. You can see I'm getting nice and sweaty. If you're not sweating a little bit by now, probably need to be working a little harder. Come on, 10 more seconds. Zone five coming up. Getting ready now, five seconds before. Upping that resistance. Couple gears, three. Two, one, zone five. Twenty seconds left on the clock. Holding pace. Ten more. Five seconds. Three. 
two, one, recover. Zone one. Nice and easy. Good stuff. If you do this workout on repeat, I personally love it. This one I keep coming back to. It's a nice weekday morning workout. It doesn't push you too hard to the point where you want to be sick. <laughs> there are some of those. It's just a great, solid effort, 45 minutes. Great start to the day, great end to the day. Keep you on your toes. Progressively increasing intensity, nice and varied. Almost halfway now. This is the toughest block. It comes around again at the end of the workout. Block three of six. We are in zone four coming up. Two and a half minutes. That's about your FTP pace. Science tells us you can hold it for an hour. Science is a bitch. It's possible. It just hurts a lot. Getting ready, we are in. Pushing up to our zone four. Find your rhythm. Get comfy. Just two more minutes on the clock. One more minute. Come on, push those pedals. Maintaining that power. Nearly there. You got this. Oh. Getting ready for the zone five finisher. 30 seconds coming up. Small adjustment up on those gears. Here we go. Zone five. Ha! Ah. Halfway. Ha! Ah. You got it. We're nearly there. Five more seconds. Three, 
two, one. Recover. <laughs> You've done it. We are halfway through. All of a sudden, just like that, it comes. <laughs> Funny how the time disappears. Just pedaling out in your zone one. Well earned recovery. I sometimes get asked why why do we recover so long? And the best answer every time is that so you can intentionally work harder in the blocks where you are required to put down the force, the power. Out on the road it's all variable. But indoors, that's where you get the best training, where you often get the best out of yourself. Because you get the recovery you actually need to then exert your best on repeat. So you hit those high zones. Hitting those different training goals that may not always be possible out on the road when you got other cars to contend with, obstacles when you're racing. Often comes down to who's done the most indoor training. Focused, targeted, well thought out indoor training. Five seconds coming up to zone two. Here we go. Up a few gears. Find your rhythm again. Two and a half minutes. I hope you like my pink towel. Selected it just for your amusement. It's actually my favorite color. Pushing out zone two. Get comfy.
yourself 30 seconds. Starting to think about that zone 5 effort coming up. Remember, it's 30 seconds. <clears throat> After that, we only got two more, two more blocks for today. Up into zone five, five seconds. Preparing those gears. Here we go. Hold pace. Keeping that RPM up, that leg speed. Come on, let's do it. Ten more seconds of work. Three, two, one. Turn it down. Good job. Two more. Just two more. Cover here for one more minute. Next up, you know the drill, zone three, two and a half minutes. Then 30 seconds, zone five. Tempo effort into sprint. I realize sprint isn't zone 5 for everyone. We're just developing that ability here. Tempo, zone 3, into zone 5, much bigger push. Getting ready. Zone 3 coming up. All together, 15 more seconds here. Getting ready for zone three. Upping those gears now. Three, two, one. Zone three. Find your rhythm. Two more minutes. How are you feeling? Check in with your head. What kind of thoughts are going on inside? Positive, negative? If they're negative, that's not gonna help. I wanna smile through the pain. The discomfort is inevitable, but your tolerance of it can only improve. Keep it positive. Say to yourself, I got this. And you will have got this. Check in with your body. How's it feeling? Pushing through the discomfort. Nice and consistent. Nothing's gonna stop you. We're gonna keep going. One more minute. Doing good. Doing great. Thirty seconds. You know what's coming.
10 seconds, zone 5 coming up. 5 seconds, get ready. Up on those gears. 3, 2, 1. Big push. Up at zone 5 if you can. Otherwise, middle of the range, option 2. Pedal through, 10 more. Head down, do a Chris Froome and look at the stem. <laughs> Three, two, one. Recover. Yeah. That's it, team. Nearly there. One more. Final one. Alright, another minute here. Recovering. And we're going to give our best to the last block, the final block, which should also feel like your toughest block. Two and a half minutes, zone four. Final 30 seconds, zone five. If you got an extra little bit more in the tank, can you push it up to zone six? Let's see what you got. 20 seconds more here. Just capitalizing on that recovery. Ten more seconds, we're gonna hit up zone four, get ready. Five seconds. Upping the resistance, three, two, one. Zone four. Final block, final frontier. Come on. Find your rhythm at the new pace. Add the new power. Oh. Should be feeling pretty tough for you on that FTP number if you're using a power meter, training with power. Oh. And a half remaining. Cool. Come on. Come on. You got it. You got it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Twenty seconds. Oh. Can feel the burn. 
10 more. Zone 5 coming. Or zone 6 if you've got it. We're going for zone 6 here. 3 seconds. 2, 1. Final 30 seconds. What have you got left? Let's see it. Halfway. Ten more. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Well done. Really well done. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> Zone one, recover. Nice and easy on those legs. Take a few minutes here. Make sure to cool down at least three to five minutes. Just to, in just an attempt to spin out as much of that lactic acid as possible. Aid that recovery. Looking to decrease that heart rate. Normalize it towards resting. Guys, thank you so much for your energy, your drive, your determination in today's session. If you like the video, please like the video. And do subscribe, there'll be plenty more like this coming up on the tougher side and on the slightly easier developmental bringing you up side. So from me, Mikey, cycle coach, friend, bye for now and keep on riding. <laughs>